Hello, my name is Jim Cole, and this is another in the uh, series of videos from Dermoscopy Made Simple. Today I want to talk about Creosalicanthoma. Now, dermatoscopically, these things are highly distinctive. They're perhaps not so easy to distinguish clinically, although they tend to present on the lower limb as pink or uh, red nodules. Slow growing. Uh, but they're quite distinctive. They're noticed by patients. They can be smooth surfaced or they uh, can be slightly rough with uh, the presence of what look like uh, areas of follicular plugging. But as I say, dome-shaped pink or red arising in the lower leg. Um, they, they get their name of acanthoma because of epidermal thickening, and that's called acanthosis. And the overall appearance is psoriasiform. There's uh, what's called a psoriasiform hyperplasia of the epidermis. And as I've said there, uh, and I'll show you in the histology shortly, this gives rise to um, dermal papillae, which are quite near the surface. And because of that, the looped vessels in the dermal papillae, when seen end on with a dermatoscope, look like dots. And it's these dot vessels in lines that's the classic feature of clear cell acanthoma when you're looking at them with a dermatoscope. And it's been described as uh, a string of, say, red pearls. So let's have a little look at some examples of clear cell acanthoma. There's a lesion on the lower leg, pink to red. This one's slightly roughened on the surface. I think that's because of these little bits of um, follicular plugging here. But look at these dot vessels. Look at the lines, the red lines and dots. Um, they're set, uh, well, at least the cells themselves are clearish here, the keratinocytes, because they have glycogen. But we'll show you that in the histology shortly. But it's these red uh, dots in lines that's the important dermatoscopic feature. Here's another example. Again, this is more plaque-like rather than a nodule. It's on the thigh. And again, if you look here, you'll see these red dots, and the dots tend to be in lines. Let's make this just a little touch bigger. There we go. Look at these red dots here, all in lines. Um, and that's the feature of a clear cell acanthoma. No, what other examples do we have? This is, well, uh, um, there's another thing, though, that can have dots and lines, and that's a thing called lichen simplex chronicus. And I'd like to show you another little example from one of the other parts of this blog. This was this lesion on a lady's lower leg, rubbed and scratched for some time. Gives rise to a sort of parietal nodule type lesion. But again, look at these vessels. They are red dots in lines. Um, and remember it as a feature of clear cell acanthoma and sometimes lichen simplex chronicus, especially when you can uh, remove the surface scale and you can see some of these uh, vessels underneath. Same sort of histology, same psoriasiform hyperplasia, same thickening of the epidermis. This is a, a great example of a clear cell acanthoma. The image is courtesy of Alan Cameron from the SCANS blog. And uh, again, there's your pink dome-shaped uh, nodule. These are your ring of red pearls, your red dots in lines. And if we just go to have a little look at uh, <coughs> some histology, when I spoke about acanthosis and psoriasiform pattern, that's the thickening of the epidermis you're seeing here. These are clear cells. The normal keratinocytes are darker purple like this. And you've got these ones here that are clear because they're filled with glycogen. Right, so it gives them that clear appearance here. These are your dermal papillae. And you can see how close to the surface they become. Now, the vessels from the dermal plexus who are going up and they're looped like that. But when they're looped on, end on with a dermatoscope, they are 
they, they're seen as little dot vessels. And because of the number of these um, demo papillae that you see in this acanthosis, you get these dot vessels in lines corresponding to the, uh, the loot vessels seen end on at uh, the apex of these dermal papillae. So, and as I say, the clear cells because of glycogen in these lesions. There are some other clinical examples that I've listed here at the DermNet New Zealand uh, blog. You can get the access uh, from the, the website. These are some of the clinical images that you'll see. This is the rest of the material. But really, you should access it by clicking uh, the link on the website. And it'll take you to DermNet New Zealand, which is a good source of uh, additional information on this particular clinical entity. So, clear cell acanthoma pink uh, nodule, smooth or rough surfaced on the lower leg or the thighs, uh, red dots in lines. The only other differential really is lichen simplex uh, chronicus. But red dots and lines generally clear cell acanthoma. Good one to know, good one to uh, get your eye in and recognize. Thank you very much.